potato pie was a big hit at dinner last night. Oh, Ted even got off his butt. He pulled out his old Motown collection. <laughs> well, my mama always said a good piece of sweet potato pie could bring out the soul in anybody. Oh, well, I guess she was right. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, it's really embarrassing the way you're always kissing Lisa's ass. What? I'm not kissing anybody's ass, Bonnie. My ma say my pie sure enough put the soul in white folks, Miss Lisa. You're definitely cooning for that woman. You know what, Bonnie? If you spent more time doing your job... Hey, Max? Yes, Lisa. This is Stella. She's applying to the New Start program. Hi. Do you mind processing your paperwork? Not at all. Have a seat. My name is Maxine. Would you stop touching stuff and sit down? Lisa, there's someone here to see you. Um, oh, I see here you went to City College for a year. That's great. Yeah, great. <laughs> see, that's what you get for not listening. Come over here. Sit. Sit. Move over. Sit. Don't move. Here you go, baby. You want a color? You know what? Why don't you worry about filling out those forms and I'll worry about my child. Maybe you need to come back here tomorrow when you're sober. I don't want to come back. I'm here now. What is going on? Miss Roster here is trying to tell me how to raise my child. All I did was give the child a coloring book and she swipes everything off my desk. <sighs> it was an accident. And Estella... Why don't you come back tomorrow, and I will process you. I would do it today, but I got back-to-back -back appointments. Thank you, ma'am. Come on. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, I brought you some Krispy Kreme. Thank you. But as I said before, I don't have any openings till next week now. Come on, Bird, I'm desperate. I need a change. Oh, I'll make an appointment. You see, I got two people under the dryer, I got one in the bowl, and my next customer will be here in a minute. I can't. Just put me in. Terry. Come on. Ever since I've been doing those Chicago update segments, it's just been crazy around here. Now, all I'm asking you to do is be considerate of my time. Like you expect people to be considerate of your time. Okay, okay. But where are the benefits of being the sister who gave you the money to start this place? Hmm? Damn, Terry! All I asked you to do was respect that I'm running a business here. 
And you got to throw your little investment up in my face? Look, it was just a joke, Bert. Calm down. I am calm. I'll be even calmer when you get out of my chair. Enjoy your donuts. Oh, I will. Every tasty bite. The athletic market is an international one. Savvy, sophisticated people dying to put their money behind the next Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods. Hey, good to see you, man. The fact that I speak five languages makes me a great candidate. Hey, let's cut through the board. We've met three times. I've been talking internally about bringing you on for a month. You don't have to sell me on who you are. I've known you since you were 10. I gave you your first big client. Oh, Kevin Tucker. <laughs> My favorite pain in the ass. Oh, God. Well, seriously, though. Thanks. I mean, without your support... Save it. You know, we split the commission, but you did all the work. <laughs> Thank you. Now, listen, Damon. CGR is a saltwater tank, you know? Are you ready to swim with the sharks, or are you more comfortable with trout? The way I see it, I can only be a hot young agent for so long. I gotta hit while the irons are hot, so to speak, if I want to go to the next level. Oh, man, that speech couldn't have been better if I wrote it myself. <laughs> Damn, I'm proud of you. Okay, so here's what we'll do. CGR will take on your roster, the money-making part of it anyway. Oh, uh, uh, hey, I... I want to bring all of my clients. I believe in all. All right. It's your call. Let's see now. I got to talk over the deal points with Biz Affairs, uh, run your compensation by the partners, but uh, shouldn't be a problem. Fantastic. All right. And you won't regret it, I promise. I better not. Oh, listen, there's a party tomorrow night. I'd like you to be there. Meet some of the agency's power players and. Uh, problem client I'd like to throw your way. Makes Kevin Tucker look like a Boy Scout. Well, I love a challenge. Who are we talking about? Benny Jones. Cockiest asshole on my roster. <laughs> Bert, bring him on. You got it. talk about it. I had to listen to that cow, Bonnie, accuse me of kissing Lisa's ass. Then a client came in, reeking of booze, cursing at her kid, had the nerve to step to me. Well, look, day is over, so why don't you just relax? Huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, okay. baby. Mm. Now, why don't I fix you a nice cup of hot tea? Mm. Thanks. Hey, son. Hey, what you got there? Oh, uh, career day at school. Oh, Callie's uncle is a pastry chef. Check it out. Oh. You know, it's kind of weird seeing a dude making something so dainty. Well, it shouldn't be. The best chefs in the world are men. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, man, we do things with, you know, greater precision. We're mathematical, you know, technical. Then why do the women in our family cook? Because they love to, you know, preparing, shopping, cooking. Gives them a chance to hang out. Gossip. I don't know <laughs> any woman who wouldn't welcome a break from the shopping, preparing, cooking, hanging out, and gossiping. Oh, well, <laughs> baby, you know, that's all you have to do is say the word. Actually, it's two words. Sunday dinner. What? Um, I, I think she's saying we're cooking Sunday. I know what she's saying, son. <laughs> and I'm sure the men will be glad to accommodate. I know I will. I'm down. You what? Oh, man, why are you overreacting? It's just a little Sunday dinner. Kenny, I have no interest in cooking Sunday dinner. You know how often I have to cook around here to keep Bird out of the kitchen? Well, you should have heard Maxine. Why? What did she say? Uh, well, you know, she said, oh, yeah, that, that we're, we're, we're lazy. Hmm? And, and that even if they did let us near the kitchen, we would do more hanging out and gossiping 
than than cooking. Oh, are you sick? Are you serious? Yeah. That, man, that's wrong. How are they gonna accuse us of nonsense without letting us cook? Exactly. I mean, they they act like the kitchen belongs to them. Wouldn't let us cook even if we wanted to. Speak on it. You know what, man? I'm down. Out of sight. All right. What was that all about? The men are cooking Sunday dinner. Oh, oh, great. Shoot, I need a break from doing anything with Terry. Well, what's up? You guys beefing? Uh, I just need a break from her and all her jokes, that's all. Good night, boy. Come in. CGR, I got it. Congratulations. Why didn't you call me all day? I was thinking you didn't get it or you would have called me to tell me that you got it. I didn't call because I was swamped trying to reorganize my office, talk oh. to Morgan Freeman about leaving, all oh these things. God. It would have been crazy not to hire you. Oh. Mm. As crazy as you are for not wanting to be with me? You. You don't play for Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Changing the subject. Um, CGR's having a party anymore tonight, and I was thinking maybe you could come with me. Oh, yes, yes, I would love to. It would be my pleasure. Okay. So come on, come on, come on. Let's pop open that bottle of diamond. Come for Yes, ma'am. Oh, Maxine, could you please show Stella where the bathroom is? Uh, sure, no problem. Was just headed that way. Uh, listen, I just wanted to apologize for yesterday. You're right, I have been drinking. I just, I get so nervous about everything, you know. Well, next time you get nervous, maybe we should try talking to someone. Drinking only makes it worse. Believe me, I know. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Thank you. The bathroom's just over there, on the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I used to love this stuff when I was a kid. Huh, you want some? Uh -uh. All right. Hey, now, did you tell him it was for me? Because he always cuts it extra thick for the chad wedge. Why don't you take a break from that peanut brittle and tell him yourself, my name ain't Kunta. Okay, okay. Relax. Huh? Now, Ma, did you get what we need for the mac and cheese? Uh, yeah, mac and cheese. I mean, what else goes in it? Cheese, man, cheese. Yeah, the orange kind. And what we have? Well, which orange one? There's billions of them. Would you happen to know what kind of cheese goes in the mac and cheese? Why are you asking me? Well, no particular reason. I just thought you might know. Why didn't you ask her? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, we really thought that she wouldn't know. So that's why we asked you. Yeah. So because I'm fat, I have the recipe for mac and cheese memorized. Nobody said that, man. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you two bust a funky rhyme for me and then follow it up with some hot dance moves? Then I'll magically know the recipe for mac and cheese. <laughs> Come on, man. Badass. Mm. I'm sure any one of the orange cheeses will be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you will. You're a really good candidate. Yeah, but... I can't get in if I'm not clean. Oh, Stella. 
You knew you were going to take the test today. I was straight for a while, you know. In my life, oh, it was so good. My man was going to work. I was back in school. <laughs> and then for reasons I still don't understand, he started doing coke. My whole world fell apart. Maybe you need to get away from him. <sighs> Hello? Why do you think I'm here? Sorry. You want to know how he pays off his drug debts? With me. Shit, I started doing coke just so I could forget about the shit those men made me do. away from him, for me and for my baby. The other night, I was with two men while my husband was snorting coke across the room. Mandel came down and he saw He saw his mother sucking one man off while the other one was... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I thought you said this was a business function. You should have told me I didn't have to wear a suit. It is a business function. I'm just in a very different business, okay. that's all. Besides, if I would have said, baby, you need to wear one of those short, tight, skimpy numbers, you would have said... What color? No way! That's a lie, you know it. I would do anything for you. You should know that by now. I do know that.
Okay, I can take a hit. It was nice meeting you both. Nice you too. You Bye, Bert. Bye, Terry. Our roster was growing, so we had to grow. Our new agents have strong track records in managing relationships and orchestrating successful negotiations. For instance, this young man right here, Damon Carter. Damon, you're one of the small fish that CGR gobbled up. How do you see this working? Well, first, let me say that if this is what it feels like to be gobbled up, I like it. <laughs> but uh, seriously, the way I see it, I can serve my clients better. Now that I'm with the biggest and best agency around. Well said. Thanks, Pete. Thank you. Come on, there's a few people I'd like you to meet. It must be pretty desperate bringing you on. <laughs> Big Benny Jones. Yeah. Good to see you, boy. You all right? I'm good, man. I'm good. Good to see some color up in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be back. Let me get my drink. What's happening? Look who's here. Right. Yeah. Damon, you need another drink? Uh, yeah. Go find that 1961 McCallum they promised Yo, they'd have. Yo, Damon, man, what's up? What's happening, man? You all right? Good to see you again. Good to see you. By the way, Bert here. Oh, she is? Where is she? Yeah. <laughs> little sister. Hey, no big shot. Damon Carter. <laughs> All right. Mark Johnson. I know the top guy in the league when I see him. And I've eaten at your mom's restaurant a gang of times. I talk to you chicken and dumplings. It's so ridiculous. Hey, mom sure does love to cook, you know? Ooh, does she? Welcome aboard, man. Thanks, man. His mom is ridiculous. Oh, my big God. Man. <laughs> how are you? How's Good. Good. Hey. Hi, how are you? You got the greatest Hey, Denise, how are you? How's your mom? Good. Good? Good to see you. Hey. Right. I'm gonna go to the lane. I can't believe I've seen this thing. Jay! Oh! Big game last Saturday. Hey, thanks, bro. You ripped him, baby. <laughs> you know it. He's a bad man. Hey, what's up, what's game up, last weekend. <laughs> hey, who's that hot guy sitting with Ricky? Damon Carter. I met him at the All Star Game after party. Turned down law school to pursue sports management. Now making his father, the judge, too happy. Has a few crimes, just merged with CGR. Oh. So, was this skinny little thing trying to look intelligent his assistant? Probably. Hi. Hello. I don't think we had a chance to meet. I'm Terry Joseph, managing partner and head of labor law at Burke Willis. Pleasure to meet you. Mm-hmm. Sarah Brannick, head of entertainment law, Deborah and Stein. That woman I told you about with the kid. She's involved in some serious abuse. I can't imagine how people get so low. This is a cold world, baby. And luckily for her, she found you. Somebody who really cares. Maybe a little too much. Don't be so hard on yourself now. <sighs> I took a drug test for her, Kenny. You did what? She was gonna fail the test, so I peed in the cup for her. If she was on drugs, she was supposed to fail the damn test, Maxine. Now, what were you thinking? I guess I wasn't thinking. It was wrong and stupid. And illegal. She has a little boy, Kenny. I felt like she deserved a second chance for him. I have to tell Lisa what happened. Oh, no, wait, Maxine. No, look, if you tell her what happened, you'll lose your job. Now, you don't know if Lisa is going to press charges against you to protect herself. So the best thing you can do is to keep your mouth shut. And hopefully this drug addict will do the same thing. Okay. Okay? All right, yeah. It's going to be all right. You want some peanut brittle? Yeah. That's a, that's a good one right there. Thanks for walking me out. No problem. What's up? Good news. The partners want Kevin Tucker and Malika Lobb to go with Perry Michaels. 
Andre Johnson and Lane Hull are going to stay under your watchful eye, along with some other clients we give you. I guess I missed the good news part. <laughs> Sounds like you're taking two of my biggest clients away from me. No, no, D. The partners want to make you head of our new urban marketing division. We're talking a big bonus and a nice chunk of any revenue you bring in. What exactly do you mean by urban? I mean finding endorsements to take advantage of our clients' popularity with the hip-hop generation. I mean, thank you, Ricky, for making me rich. No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Ricky Williams, fuck you out here running your mouth about. Better be about getting me one of them Kobe-sized shoe deals. Why don't we have lunch tomorrow and talk about exactly that? Oh, fuck your hands off me. Easy, easy. I'm a motherfucking all-star. What the fuck is wrong with him? Man, I got my ring. Everybody in the league knows what's happening with me. Why don't you? Baby, baby, hey, you better get the fuck off of me no, right no, now. B, B, talk to me. Come on, man. Come on, talk to me. Let's go, Hell, man. What's up? Fuck this. You and me, we always been cool. But these fools up at CGR, they on some straight Hollywood bullshit. Oh, come on, B. CGR renegotiated a sweet contract for you last year. Man, they couldn't have done shit if I hadn't been taking care of my business. I'm telling you, they some snakes and... If you want to fuck with him, you can, but I'm out. Whoa, I am out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am out. You can't be out. Motherfucker, I can be what I want to be. Except out. If you're out, I got to be out. I just got here. At least let me make a few dollars first. Come on, man. Uh, do me a favor. Give me a chance to move in there. All right? I'll give you a call and we work this shit out. OK? Now, one thing you're going to learn about me is I'm not a liar. I give him my word and that's it. I'm giving you my word on this. I'll make it better. All right? It's gonna be cool. Yeah. All right? <laughs> all right, we'll talk about it. Trust. We'll talk about it. It's gonna be all right, man. Nice. Ink's not even drying your contract, and you're already putting out fires. Think you the shit I shot you. Shoot the breeze, move, not your groove when I spot you. Doing what I got to. Think you the shit I shot you. Well, thanks for meeting me, Stella. After what you did for me, I was definitely gonna be here. Good, because exactly what I did for you is what I want to talk to you about. My husband says I should just let it go, but I can't. I'm not gonna tell anybody if that's what you're worried about. Good, because we broke the law. That means jail. At the very least, I'd lose my job. And you wouldn't get into the program. No, see, I need the New Star program. I'm not going to do anything to mess it up. You got a beautiful son. <laughs> and no woman deserves to be treated the way you have. Stick with the program, Estella, and I promise you, I will help you. I'll do everything in my power to help you get back on your feet. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Look at you. Oh, shit, man. Listen, can you do me a favor? Can you just watch Mandel for a second? I'm gonna run across the street and get some cigarettes. I'll be right back. Um, sure, okay. All right. Come here, baby. Thank you. I'll be right back. You want anything? No, thanks. All right. Okay. Well, come on, baby. Let's uh, sit over here. Wait for your mom. So what you got there, man? Cars. Cars. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, you want that? Okay. It's me. I don't want to talk about it, Max. Talk about what? Oh, don't act like Terry didn't tell you. Tell me what? And I'm tired of it. So don't tell me to forgive her or that I should just know that that's how Terry is because it's not good enough anymore. I know it's not good enough. You could have told me she was on her way over here. I have no idea what you're talking about, Bird. I'm calling to see if I can get an appointment to get my hair twisted. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm busy right now. Call me later. Okay, bye, Bird. Bye. What is it, Terry? 
As I told you at the time, it was just a joke. And as I told you at the time, it wasn't funny. So you said. Look, I guess I'm just a one-trick pony, okay? When I want to be funny or complain or needle somebody in this family or when I'm trying to help, what do I do? I bring up money. Mm. Money I've lent, money I'm still owed, money I want to give, money I'm spending. I don't know why I do it. I just do. I absolutely never meant to hurt your feelings. I'm very proud of you. And I love the fact that you don't owe me a dime. Um, hey. So is Damon excited about his new job? <laughs> yes. It's just so weird to see him in this kind of environment, you know? People jockeying to speak with him, women hitting on him. I guess he's just his real hot commodity, personally yeah. and professionally. Uh, yeah, he is. And you better recognize that before some woman who's not afraid to tell him she loves him comes along and snatches him up. I can't help it, Bird. I just don't want to... Be hurt again. I know. But then you don't want to live. Because that's what life is all about. Taking chances and knowing that you might get hurt. Is that right? Of course it's right. <laughs> so, if you want that man, you better stop acting like you don't. <sighs> and for God's sake, please, don't show up to another party looking like his lawyer. What? That was an $800 suit. So what? Terry, you need to loosen up a little bit. Have some fun. Stop being scared of being sexy. <laughs> you got a great body. It's all right to show it off sometimes. Well, if you're finished, I have to get back to work. I'm finished. Go. <laughs> Bye, Mama. Bye. I think if I was white, I wouldn't have a, a shoe deal, a candy bar, a soft drink. I mean, I'm top ten in the league in more categories than I can count. And bottom line, CGR is full of a bunch of racist mother****s, and I'm out. Oh. I guess he didn't put out that fire after all. He's his own worst enemy, you know? That mouth is what's keeping him from the big endorsements. Yeah, and the fact that he speaks English like he learned it listening to gangster rap. Well, that's a little harsh, isn't it, Ricky? No, Damon, it's a little true. Look, you grew up in Europe. I'm from the Bronx. You don't understand the African-American athlete like I do. I've lived with these guys my whole life. You really can't speak to what I understand. I mean, to be honest, your comments could be interpreted as racist. <laughs> if I was a racist, you wouldn't be here. Look, all the big shoe companies have turned us down on Benny. If he wants to keep wearing his pants around his ankles, then fine. I will find him some sponsors. They want their athletes to keep it real. You know, half of the kids in this country wear their pants three sizes too big, white or black. We ought to be able to get Benny something. Just get him back. We can't afford to lose a client that makes that kind of money. I'll try. No, I don't need your effort, Damon. I need results. Maybe we can get him a malt liquor commercial. Can run from that bull all the way to the bank. Buy his mom a big house. Make his daddy his overpaid manager, hire his boys as his bodyguards, and put his sister in rehab. You just happen to know what his family issues are. They all have the same issues, Damon. So maybe we can hang another time. Where are you going with my child? Where the hell have you been? I've been waiting here for an hour don't have nothing to do with kidnapping my baby. Okay. Are you high? Helping me does not give you the right to judge me. I don't believe this shit. You were getting high? Well, I'm sitting here with your child. You were getting high? Well, I'm sitting here waiting for you.
What I thought. Well, you certainly won't be short on protein. Hey, where's um uh, salad? Right here. Oh, here right. we go. Okay. Potato salad. Is mm. everything cool at work? Mm. Yeah, I got it under control. <laughs> yeah. Well, before we dig in, I, I would like to make a toast. Oh, we've been toasting a lot lately. Well, there's a lot to celebrate. <laughs> now, to the woman who not only talks about helping people, but she puts herself on the line to do it. The Transition House is really lucky to have you, Maxine. Thank you, Kenny. You're welcome. Mm. All right. Mm. Cheers. That's right. Yeah, cheers. 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 Mm. Now, I'm starved. Okay. Oh, if you don't mind, since it's men's night, I'd like to say the blessing. Yes, sir. All right. Bow your heads, please. Um, bless this food. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 All right. What I'm talking about, let's get to the food. Do you want the sweet? Good boy. I like that. Okay, we have mm. pork chops, ribs, chicken, steak, and... Hey, taste this chicken, babe. Oh, yeah, pass that, man. Let me get some of those. Oh, Kenny, this is good. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Honestly, I just think it was a matter of miscommunication. Hell no. Miscommunication is when your wife asks you to bring home peas and you bring home cheese. That's miscommunication, but a bunch of rookies running around getting endorsements, and I'm not... Man, that's some bullshit. Bottom line, B, if you don't make money, we don't make money. And <laughs> we won't make money. Yeah, I believe that. But I'm not gonna be limited to some ghetto endorsements because I happen to be from the hood. Neither am I. You're bigger than that. In fact, if you stay here, we'll go to the big shoe companies and get you that big Kobe-sized deal you were talking about. I got your word on that? I told you, man. My word is bond. <laughs> My man. I'm only agreeing to this because of you. Let's make this happen now. I promised my mama a big ass house up on the hill. Sold my soul to the devil. Are you drunk? Why is it always the first thing you say to me? It's never, did you have a drink or what are you drinking? You... If I see you with a glass and a bottle in a dark room, what else am I supposed to ask? How about, uh, what's wrong, Damon? Anything I can do to help? Do... Okay. Why is the light off? I disgusted myself. How'd you do that? By promising Benny Jones a whole bunch of things I know I can't deliver. Mm. Just to make sure he didn't leave CGR. Well, you know, business is business. I'm sure you did what you had to do. I feel like a joke. I mean, I, I got the chance to make a difference, and I choose ambition. Hmm. Do you have any idea why you did that? Ricky Williams scared me. Hmm. Thought my new job was in jeopardy. And the first thing that came to my mind was shit. Another reason for my dad to call me a failure. What are you doing? Making sure you don't have a hangover tomorrow because you've got to have a clear head if you're actually going to do all those impossible things you promised Minnie Jones you'd do. 
You're something else, you know that? So are you. Hey, you want to go to dinner tomorrow? I promise Benny I'll take him out. Hmm. Sounds like fun. Great. Hey, why don't you uh, wear one of those sexy short tight numbers? What color? every right to be. But I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Yes, you are. And I'd appreciate it if you stay away from me. I said I was sorry. You're so used to playing people. You even believe your own love. I didn't force you to pee in that cup. I thought we agreed not to talk about that. Yeah, we did, till you started acting all crazy that you wouldn't be so damn high and mighty if your boss knew what you did, now would you? Estella, I like my job, but I don't need it. My husband takes good care of me and my kids, so you can tell whoever the hell you want. Good. I'll wait for Lisa then. She should be here soon, right? Mm-hmm. And while you're waiting, you remember I got a little something to tell you. No, you don't. Oh, I think abandoning your child without any concern for his well-being is a little something. No, I left him with you. That's not how I'll tell the story. And Mandel will be on his way to a nice, drug-free home. You bitch. Orientation starts today at 5 o'clock. You better be here and sober with Mandel. If not, I'll have to tell Child Protection Service what a good mother you are. No, I don't think you know. Goodbye. Uh, add three cans of prune juice. I still feel like I got an 18 with a lodge in my butt. Oh, yeah, it must have been that peanut brittle. Yeah, plus all that meat you ate last night. You had a slab all to yourself. Uh, all I know is something's got to give. Why don't you go to guys and get checked out? Man, I don't have time for that HMO. I'll be there all day. Man, you look like you're in serious pain. I mean, if I was you, I would go. Uh, I... Welcome to orientation for the New Start program. Thanks. I know the questionnaire is... Uh, Hi, Mandel. Now, ask questions. Please have a seat. Orientation is starting. I'm not done with you yet. Then we're not done with each other. And as you were told in the application process, we are all very... Please have a seat. We're starting. Thank you. Oh, boy. Mr. Chadway. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Ellis. What seems to be the problem? Oh, you know, maybe this isn't such a, a good idea. It's probably not a big deal anyway. You know, according to your chart, you haven't had a bowel movement in four days. <laughs> Sounds like a big deal to me. I, I just can't go. It started with some peanut brittle, uh, some meat. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just can't go. Let's take a look. What's that for? I'm gonna need you to turn around and relax. But maybe, look, I, I can try to go tonight. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Just take a deep breath, Mr. Chadway. Don't worry. I've got really fat fingers from eating all that mac and cheese. Shouldn't take but a second, dog.
Like Dee said, you have potential beyond the urban market. Well, that's all I need to hear is that promises will be kept. On my word, they will be. Right on. Let's drink to a bright, long-term future. I'm with you. Well, that's cool, but I think I'm gonna celebrate by telling that fine little honey dip over there how badly she needs to meet her new daddy. <laughs> Excuse me, Papa. Bless me. Oh, hell no. That's my girl. Excuse me. Oh. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You hate it. Um. Oh, God. I feel so stupid. Bert, give me... Let me talk to you. His name is... <laughs> Woo! Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong with you? I don't want to do this anymore. Do what? I thought you said you... You Remember when you said you would do anything for me? Of course. Then do this for me. Let's stop playing games. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. And I'm tired of it. You're everything I want in a woman. I knew that the first time I walked into your office in my curl uniform with my clipboard, I loved you then. I love you now. No. Trying to wait. No. Can I please go? Let me just go. I want you to be my wife. What? I don't want to be a friend. You, your pal. You, you fuck buddy. I want to be husband. Yeah. 